So I spammed Garen for over 200 games and figured out exactly how to beat him. At level 1 he will try to silence you and run away. This is almost unbeatable so just try to stay in your minions so he takes some minion damage and make sure to use your ability just before he silences you because you won't be able to use it when silenced. And you also can't chase him with basic attacks because of his movement speed. And if at level 1 or 2 he spins on you and your minions, then that will push the wave towards your tower. So just try to hold your wave near your tower, making it harder for him to last hit, to poke you, and it also sets up an easy gank. One thing that all high ranked players know about Garen is to not be scared of his damage. If I'm playing Garen and I see that the enemy is trying to avoid fighting me, I then already know that I won the lane. This is because Garen's damage with his silence and spin isn't really that high. It's just okay. What makes him strong is that he can tank up to 60% damage and then back off and heal. This is where his power comes from. But if he stays in the fight after using his silence and spin, he easily gets out damaged. Looking at his damage chart at level 4 for example, he will typically start silence with grasp and then spin for 3 seconds. He will also try to negate most of your burst with his shield that reduces 60% damage for the first second and 30% for one more second. He then runs away to cool down his abilities or to heal if he needs it. However, his damage after his abilities falls off a cliff. The reason for his weak basic attacks is that he always starts a ruby crystal to synergize with his passive and grasp. Conqueror doesn't work on Garen because his spin doesn't apply any stacks. Also, his kit offers no bonus attack damage or attack speed, leaving him with weak basic attacks. And this is why Garen loves to short trade, back off and heal until his abilities cool down. If you let him, he will just repeat this a few times until you are low enough that he can full combo with Ignite and then Ultima for a kill. Unless he's fed, he can never 100 to 0 anyone in one all-in fight. He just lacks the damage to get someone low enough to execute them with his ultimate. So what you need to do instead is to draw him into a longer fight than he wants. You can usually all in him at full HP and beat him. The only problem with that is if you're fighting inside his minions and not yours. So you'll have to wait for him to make a mistake and overextend away from his minions. Then you just turn on him. If you have any CC in your kit, save it to the end for when he tries to retreat back after using all his damage. This will extend the fight long enough for you to win. Most Baron laners can win the long fight because they have stronger consistent damage. They usually have some sort of steroid that increases the damage or attack speed. Because of this, they use the Rune Conqueror which gives them even more basic attack and ability damage the longer they fight. Most champions should be stronger than him during this entire phase when he doesn't have a shield. And during this phase, you should just zone him away from minions or poke him if possible to stop his passive healing. In the long fight, if you get outplayed by his shield, you will still lose it. The tip on that is to not be predictable with your main burst or CC or he will cancel most of it. This is where you need to win the mind games. Most Garen players usually shield in the same way every time as a habit, so just make a note of it. When he fights you after level 3, Hold your main damage or CC ability and bait out his shield first. Use your other abilities or basic attack. Then after 2 seconds or even the first second, you can throw out your main damage. If you have any CC, save it to the end so you can keep him in the fight for longer during this phase. For example, if you're playing Darius or Set, save your pull until he tries to run away after his burst. Then you can just win the fight with basic attacks. Another general tip is to keep his passive healing turned off. He cannot start his slow healing process for 5 seconds if he takes any damage. So poke him if you can when he's trying not to fight. Champions like Teemo and Darius are great because they have a poison on the basic attacks which keeps his healing off for at least 10 seconds. And so yeah, other than that, it's mostly about your general laning ability and your wave management, which I will be making a video on.